DIY for good old fashioned insulation is probably going to be one of the most fun and exciting things you can possibly do. <laughs> actually, no, it's going to be pretty boring and pretty monotonous, actually, if you do it by yourself. The truth is, is that it's so simple, anyone can possibly actually handle putting insulation inside of a home, especially when you're doing it with bats. I mean, it is not a very complicated process. One of the things I will tell you, though, is that I admit that I did what you're doing right now, which is watching quite a few YouTube videos, trying to make sure that I'll get an understanding of what needs to be done. But for whatever reason, they don't really tell you the little things. They tell you, you know, about insulation, they tell you what the R13 versus the R15 means, why fiberglass versus rock wool, why rock wool versus this other material. So you're going to get a lot of that information, but it's those little details that I think you need to know about, which they don't bring up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now it's very likely that you're going to be purchasing yourself a bat insulation because it's pretty much the easiest form that you can get. And I'm going to give you a warning. Bat insulation, you could probably put about two of them inside of a normal mid-sized sedan. So uh, if you know you're going to need more, borrow a truck from the store or have somebody that can help you. But here's something. Everything is actually on the bag that helps you to remind what you do need to have. From getting the knife all the way to the gloves and especially the long sleeve shirts. Here's the thing though. Some of the things that you need to prepare for, obviously, is how much of this stuff do you need to buy. But you also need to know that on the bag, how thick it is, how wide it is, and how long it's going to be. And then, how many pieces come in with it, and how much it's supposed to cover. One of the things that I noticed is that there was actually a bat that I could purchase that would go a little bit longer for me, and I was unaware of this. But... I purchased the smaller stack so I had to sacrifice every single time one of the bats so that way I can get it installed. So just as a little small piece of advice, that's something that you might want to consider. Two, when it comes to the stapler, you probably already have a stapler for another reason. Maybe you're putting uh, lights up for your house or something like that. If your stapler is going to be used and it breaks on you, make sure that when you replace it you get one that has this kind of action right here because what happened a lot is you're going to realize you're going to use a lot of staples to get these bats up. And the truth is, is that if that stable gets stuck and you don't have a model that can basically allow for you to take this piece out so you can yank them out, you just wasted yourself some money. So I'm only bringing that up because we did have the other kind of stapler where it was reversed and you can push it in a little bit more comfortable for a lady's hand for instance but uh <clears throat> it didn't work so I got this Milwaukee replacement of and the reason why this and not the hammer is because the truth is is that once you're done doing this insulation stuff that hammer stapler although it's really convenient that's it that's all it does it's really only for insulation so my suggestion is to continue to use these types when it comes to the rest of the stuff, you might not want to consider getting the long sleeve shirt or the breathing mask or basically the glasses or the hat. I guarantee you that if you ever get insulation in your skin, I'm not talking on your skin, I'm talking about in your skin, that stuff feels like a haircut that doesn't go away for like two weeks. It is irritating and as a matter of fact I can still feel it in the side of my wrist right here where the gloves wasn't actually protecting me too well. So I'm not saying that this is going to happen, I'm just saying this is the reason why they give you the warning to protect your eyes, your face, and all the other extremities with all the extras. Get an El Cheapo knife because you are going to be really abusing it and uh, using it. So that's why those box knives that you probably see that are, boy, I don't know, 10 bucks over there in the box stores might not be a bad idea. And last but not least, it doesn't bring it up on any of the packaging and a lot of people they don't show it too often but getting one of these little cheap bags so that way you can carry your nails and your tool while you're going up and down the ladder isn't a bad idea which leads to the ladder any ladder that you're gonna have is definitely going to be able to help you out the truth is though I purchased this kind of ladder a long time ago and it's basically a ripoff of the little giant now you can get them in any of the box stores, this is a Werner, and I'm going to tell you something. The ability for this ladder to be able to lean to, so in essence, and you'll know what I'm talking about once you get it, 
it really makes the difference so that way you'll be able to put that insulation from the top down to the bottom of the ground so again this is not an inexpensive purchase but i tell you these ladders that allow for you to choose how high they can go is definitely a value if you're going to be using them constantly and be truthful if you are a diy guy it's very likely you're going to be using this ladder quite a few times for other purposes something with odd angles like for some reason there was a few pieces over there on the top part of my garage that had triangles that I had to fill. Maybe foam would not be a bad idea for that. So just a suggestion. If you have odd angles, foam would be a good idea. But if you have these long, tall, man, these bats are the best things that you can buy. I hope you have any questions or any comments. Just give me a little bit of a markdown. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day. I decided that I... <clears throat>